Okay, here we go. So it's C1C80 exam and it's slap fighting, not, not the nicest topic maybe. So we've got our 10 words. We've got cringe, en route, flinch, monetize, a cardinal rule, deteriorate, blackout, compel, endure and diminish. So we're going to put those 10 words into the 10 sentences in the correct form. As we can see, we've got the little clues in red. So the first one I'm looking at, we've got a regular verb. When my father started break dancing at the wedding, well, how would I feel? It was embarrassing and therefore I'm gonna go with cringe. And it's a regular verb, so I cringed. Now then, number two, the law of Mm -hmm. It's an ING form. Returns states that the more you consume of a good thing, the less satisfaction you get from it. So I guess this is after the first pizza that you eat. The first pizza is delicious. If you go for a second pizza, that pizza will be less tasty, less enjoyable. And if you go for a third one, dear God, um, you won't enjoy it at all. So it's something that's kind of becoming less and less. And of course, that means it's diminishing. That means it's diminishing, diminishing. The law of diminishing returns. It's an economics term, I guess. Now, YouTubers, the YouTuber. Now, his content, I guess his content, he does it for free at first. But what he really wants is, of course, to make money. So he wants to monetize his content. So monetize is there. Now, I'm going to spell it the British way, M-O-N-E-T-I-S-E. -E. Of course, the Americans might do it with a Z, M-O-N-E-T-I-Z-E, -E, not Z. Thank you very much. Now, looking at number four, we are all mm -hmm -hmm, to follow the law. Now, it's a regular verb. And I guess to follow the law, we all have to do it. There's no choice. If you don't want to follow the law, the law then that's fine, but you're going to get yourself into trouble, in prison, fined, etc., etc. So we are all forced, we are all compelled. It's a regular verb, C O M P E, double L, of course, E D. Now look at number five. Running a marathon is a true test, oh yeah, of an individual's, <laughs> and we're looking for a noun form. Now, a marathon, I guess, it's long, 26 miles. Perhaps it's repetitive. You're going to have to just keep going. You've got to psychologically just keep going, ignoring the pain, um, ignoring the discomfort, perhaps. So I think it's a true test of somebody's endurance. So the noun, it comes from endure, the verb, and the noun is endurance. So E N D U R A N C E. Nice and easy. Now then, number six, the inexperienced diver. Okay, yeah, so you've got to be careful, I guess. I've never, I've never done it, but I, I've seen the films, these divers, they go down deeper, 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 and they have to be careful with their timing, be careful with their depth, because, of course, if they run out of air, they can die, and I guess the first, before they die, they would, of course, black out. To black out, to lose consciousness. So it's in, it's in the ING form. Here yeah, we've got after as a preposition... So after blacking out, I guess. There you go. All right, now number seven. All right. Um, yeah, okay, so for older ladies, older people, like my nana, you know, as Alzheimer's comes on, um, it damages their memory, their, their cognitive powers, I guess. It affects them. It's a, you know, a very, very sad... Um, Illness. So the advancing Alzheimer's caused a significant is in my my nana's memory. So I'm looking for some kind of a diminution, a lessening, damaging, and it's the noun form of deteriorate. So it's going to be deter whoop, deterioration. There you go. Now number eight. Now then, these new since Poland and the rest of the European Union have decided to allow German tanks to be sent to Ukraine. Um, of course, if, if I'm a Russian, I guess my ambition is to destroy those tanks 
even before they can get to me, even before they can be used, while they're on their trains, while they're on the back of a lorry being moved. So I guess, of course, while they are en route, they haven't arrived, they're just on their way to the front, to the fighting, I guess. Now, number nine, one of the ha 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 of business is keep costs under control. Now, yeah, I mean, that. I guess that means that's a, it's a basic, it's something you have to do. Um, if you follow this, this rule, you should be okay. So it's a cardinal rule. A cardinal rule is something, it's a basic, you have to follow it, you know. Um, you can't ignore it or play with it. Um, it's a plural form, so it's, yeah, because it's one of, yeah, one of the cardinals. Other cardinal rules, I don't know, watch your employees, be nice to your employees, be nice to your clients, um, and don't get carried away, I guess. Um, and the last one, number 10, yeah, the young policeman, okay, there's a gang walking towards him. How does he feel? He probably feels, I'm sure he feels a bit frightened, a bit nervous, you know, but you can't show it, you cannot allow them to see that you're scared, allow them to see that you're worried. Flinch is when you physically move um, because you feel threatened. Um, you know, if somebody pretends they're going to hit you, you would instinctively flinch, you know, close your eyes, move back a little. So um, he didn't flinch, it's an infinitive version. So the flinch has gone in there. We've used our 10 words. We've got our answers down below. And that's all. Everything's there in order. Okay, nice and easy, yeah? Okay.